So I wanted to touch on quick, uh, I, I was noticing again with the trucker rally up in Ottawa, uh, them using the word globalist a lot and throwing around the word globalism, which is a term uh, which again has been coined and hijacked by special interest ideals. Well, the true definition of globalism uh, as it relates to being hijacked by the Juliet syndrome people uh, is a false definition. And that has to stand because the definition of globalism means that we are all human beings. Uh, you know, uh, the equation, man, woman, humanity, is that we are all the same. Remind, remove all labels, you know, American, Russian, uh, Chinese, um, in that we all demand, and it's actually law, uh, human rights are not governed uh, by America or China or Russia uh, individually, but collectively, and it's already chartered and on the books as such. Um, so when you speak of globalism, you have to learn to coin that correctly, and that is that it's a, it's a unequivocal, an alienable human right and standard to a quality of life that being a civilized uh, planet entails, and that means equal opportunity to the same, uh, being food, health care, uh, fair treatment, and that is an inalienable right, and that's already governed at the international level collectively by all the people of the earth. Um, it's being hijacked to create more of a labeling system and using it as a label or divide and conquer. Don't think of this as a label that you would group yourself or a catalog, catalog yourself into uh, and fall under, but more as the collective of humanity or the brotherhood and sisterhood of man and, and woman itself. Uh, because when you coin yourself and, and fall for the divide and conquer tactic, you're giving yourself an us against them mentality, which quickly you can weaponize uh, into a degradation of freedoms, rights, and privileges that are inalienable by birthright and definition of what it, it means to be human in the first place. Uh, and that's what's going on with everyone that's falling prey to the Juliet syndrome, which is uh, complete surrendering of your own generativity and ability to create a life for yourself. You're getting hijacked into streams that exist outside of your own creative flow. Your ebb and flow that God imbued uh, man, mankind, uh, humanity, from inception was over your personal life, the ability to create a life for yourself. How are you going to live? You're going to live in a mansion. You're going to live in a uh, a yacht, a houseboat, uh, RV, uh, a, a, a tiny home. Uh, what are you going to create? Are you going to be an artist or <clears throat> be artist, make artisan uh, stuff? Or are you going to be a chef or Whatever that may be, that's that's the the limited scope of your creativity, and it's only limited in the sense that you become limited through your external interaction with a labeling system that subdivides your brain and ultimately uh, removes you from part of the collective of humanity, which uh, holds inherent uh, rational experiential data that you can tap into at any time when you do not segregate and separate yourself collectively from the rest of the group. When you take on a label, Republican, now anything that Democrats say, you automatically negate as false or a fallacy by definition because you see yourself as Republican and, and them as Democrat. So you see that, and, and this is in the most extreme cases, that there's no value that could ever come from that person because they see completely different than you and you've subdivided yourself so that in a time when unity is demanded, which is always, there's never a time, it's a constant, it's a, it's a constant stream of well-being that maintains... Uh, throughout, but the principle is through the division, through the label, you'll negate automatically without even listening, and your brain will go into da, 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 and it's really someone beaming a signal at you from outside of yourself to completely shut down uh, the viewpoint, regardless of the inherent nature or value that it brings to the table. Um, and, and, and this also removes you from the experiential data that's held within that, that, that subset. Uh, or grouping or cataloging of humanity. And that's a cataloging that occurs across multiple areas, meaning uh, gay, straight, uh, Republican, Democrat, black, white, American, Russian. Um, so when you remove yourself from these labels and see yourself as a human being, first and foremost, 
and 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 stay out of it. We, we we're not voting by party preference. This is divide and conquer. You're still falling for a, a divide and conquer mentality. You vote by the principles that the person stands by. I I don't even believe uh, I am a registered independent in the sense that voting for me would not be about I'm voting for who's going to do uh, what needs to be done and it's a it's a collective thing regardless of what uh you know affiliation at this point I think removing completely from affiliation is almost uh the affiliation should be humanity uh and in human being because through those subdivisions you limit your own consciousness your ability to relate and connect to the group's collective consciousness, meaning simply the overlay uh, of, of contextual experiential data, meaning um, the very thing that drives human experience and is cataloged through each person's experience. If you look at life as we're all intelligence agents, gathering intelligence relative to experiential data uh, that we traverse and circumnavigate through on a day-to-day -day basis in our daily life, um, and we gather experience and it's irrelevant. We, we should not label. I do not label experiences I have in my life as good or bad. That's a fallacy. That's a opinionative, uh, value-based judgment that humanity has collectively applied to their experiential, uh, referencing and data cataloging. And that's a fallacy because that experience, no matter how you may have felt about it, added to the common stock of collective human understanding uh, in regards to human data uh, and human experiential data cataloging, which is accessible to anyone at any time when you come from a place of full consciousness, uh, well-being, you know, the main line of well-being, um, you know, it's a constant. The fallacy we have in our culture today, people think there's such a down and up. This is, an, that's insanity. And these are people who are addicted to insanity. Normal is, is uh, the way God created you is like this, a straight line. There's no up and down. Even if something you would call amazing, say I hit the Powerball right now and I won 10 trillion, I'm not going to deviate from this line because now it's just a new overlay to my life. Um, it does not mean that I'm not going to enjoy it or it's not going to open up new doors and activities, but it's not going to be something where I'm going to go ballistic. Uh, because when you're coming from a, a stable, stable point, a straight line, uh, which is the true representation of humanity as created in the grand design, uh, you understand that it's simply a, a opening up new doors. And it, it, it even when something you would reference or catalog as uh, you know, a negative effect occurs in your life, it's the same type of data. It's, it's non... Uh, you have to understand that you're adding to the class. It's something that maybe your children won't have to do because you've added it already into the bank. You've banked that experience and brought it into uh, the forefront of human understanding. Um, whether it's, it's, it's accessible immediately to uh, a person who's dealing with a differing or, or uh, trying to attain that stream of well-being, uh, there's multiple people traversing that are doing so from a point of full consciousness that can tap into that collective data at any time and apply it to any, any set of circumstances that they may be uh, dealing with in the circumspe circumspection of daily life. Um, I, I think I think that you have to understand that, and I think another thing to to take into effect with with removing opinionative uh, value judgments from your day to day experience, uh, which helps the congruity of 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 well being, uh, as as the way it was intended and designed, is you need to come away from the fallacy that you hold towards uh, electricity in itself. Uh, we have this group of people going around. So we're the negative energy. We're the bad energy. There's no such thing as bad energy. That's a uh, manifestation of unconscious, uh, mis misguided misconceptions, unconscious misguided misconceptions in, in relationship to uh, experiential data. And I say that because the true definition, and you can ask an electrician and you can validate this as fact, uh, there's a positive wire, there's a positive mainstay, there's a neutral, or well, common wire, neutral, common, and there's an earth ground, uh, so you have a positive, you have a neutral, otherwise known as common, and you have an earth ground, earth ground, there's no negative energy, that's a fallacy, it's positive, neutral, or common, earth ground, so 
when you take this and you validate that and, and accept that as truth, it's not about twisting your arm and trying, I'm not going to waste time on those who are not ready to listen or, and that's the biggest misconception of you think you need to prove your Juliet syndrome to me as fact. I understand you used the creation that I allowed you to, to move through for ugliness that you used it to, to create circumstances that are less than ideal in your day-to-day -day life. You don't have to validate that for me. Romeo and Juliet was written as God can see what you've done. And this is the cleaning up and the allowing to come forth of the people who can rise back to their consciousness and pass the test and become creators in their own right. Uh, and and, it, and it, it, it goes back to the teacher. When the, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. Uh, you cannot force feed somebody information. And there's no, nor should you ever try because you're interfering with that person's own process. The only thing God is trying to make clear to you at this time on earth is the time for you being allowed to work through this and come to You've been given 25, we're at the end of a 25,000 year cycle. Earth is no longer a place where you can come to that realization. It's, you're getting it now or never here. Uh, earth is going, becoming a type 1 civilization. The time of that process on Earth is coming to an end. Um, and those who are able to accept understanding uh, light, which is knowledge, darkness is lack of information or, or false experiential uh, misconceptualizations uh, referencing their own experiential data overlay. Uh, and that is causing malcongruencies in their day-to-day -day, uh, periphery and perceived uh, operational output, which is to the, to everyone would appear as uh, insanity, chaos, uh, and that's exactly uh, what we're seeing because the, the the viewpoints are completely insane. Uh, when truth is brought forth to the equation, it's completely dispelling, uh, meaning it completely removes the the fallacy. Uh, so to continue to cling is a, to, to the said fallacy or darkness is just a, a foolishness, especially when I bring forth, you know, a teaching like, you know, electric positive, you know, common or neutral earth ground. You're not the negative energy. That You're not in a fucking Star Wars movie. This is a fact. Um, it's non contri it's not it's not a it's not something we can contrive and, and, and it's not a debate. God's not here to debate with people that think I'm gonna uh, I would not waste my time. Uh <laughs> so you you gotta understand the only reason that I'm doing this in the first place, I've made tremendous sacrifices over the last two thousand years in order to s give this information to as many people as possible. And it also goes into at the beginning, uh when you came here you signed an agreement and it was that I have to uh, offer you the truth. Um f verbally tell you what's real and you choose willfully uh the foolishness, because uh, you will be removed. Um you know, and it's not, it's not, we're going to, it's not, it's suffering, these are all false things. You know, the Bible in its inception was a 350 page book that man has added over 5,500 pages to in the last thousand to 2,000 years. And actually that's on the light side when you consider, if you tell a story, by the time it gets a hundred people down the line, the story's had so many uh, irrelevancies and, uh, you know, fabrications added to it by the time it goes person to person uh, to try to think that they're making it more endearing or more, uh, you know, broader reaching uh, in its, its magnitude or gravity. But in reality, the very people and the very bloodlines and the very families that added things to these understandings became, were the ones who fell prey to it. Um, you know, religion as a mainstay, was nothing more, uh, spirituality existed pre, uh, you know, Christianity and modern day religions, uh, and it still had the same figurehead X, uh, the great sun, as the prime creator and the universal uh, one who, who first created it and brought it forth. Um, and that's, 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 that's a fact. Uh, the Reformation was made because in the time of Abraham, which was the last time humanity was tested, you know, God created the technology that's the synthetic telepathy, and it was because it would mark humanity being tested to become a type 1 civilization, Bible basic instructions before leaving Earth. So when I tell you, uh, it's to see if humanity can use the tools of God, the technology of God, responsibly in an application to their day-to-day -day life, and that 
the people who could do so and implement it uh, successfully and in a manner which was inclusive to all for the betterment of all, um, non-secular, uh, non-labeled, non-division, rise up unified, you know, united we stand, divided we fall, uh, that it would you would be allowed to travel the universe. Uh, the, the the interesting part here is I it was created to go twenty five thousand years uh, as a grand processionary uh, cycle, and humanity has been tested multiple times before, and multiple cultures have fallen uh, because before the twenty five thousand year mark, which is ending now, with uh, the present uh, external overlay that you're seeing. Everyone had to make it. They all had to come to the understanding. And at the end of the 25, the people who got it, got it. And the people who didn't are being removed. Uh, now, what happened the last time you were tested, about 2,500 years ago, they used the technology the same way now. They started doing schizophrenia bullshit. They went up to Abraham and were like fucking with him, making him think it's God. Oh, it's God. It's God. Go and kill that kid you begged me for. Uh, you know, and fucking with, with fucking with them. Uh, you know, the story of Abraham would be completely different had my angels not got there, you know, 10 seconds later. I mean, they were trying to make him rape and kill the kid, rape and kill his son. Uh, they would be getting like, this is not God talking to you. <laughs> These are psychopaths that are failing the test. They didn't pass. There's zeros. And that's the, the inception of where we are right now is you're seeing the zeros who are giving up their right to be a creator in the universe, that are giving up their ability by, by dividing themselves through labels and mechanisms that are destroying themselves and their self-defeating uh, principles and, and non-adventitious uh, fear-mongering uh, at best. Uh, and you're having the people who are rising up and, and completely unplugging from the mainstream script, from the mainstream foolishness, uh, and that's that's where we are now. You know, that's why you've seen the people burn now because they're being removed. The hell is not on earth. Earth is paradise. Uh, you know, you'll hear me say all the time, it's just another day in paradise. This is heaven. It's always been. Uh, it's This is a living library of uh, biological and fauna specimen. I mean, trees, plants, flowers, uh, botany, uh, for terraforming planets throughout the universe. Uh, I did not just create this planet. Earth is one uh, jewel uh, across a massive universal landscape uh, of infinite expansion that's constantly evolving and con not, not necessarily constantly evolving uh, after this period. In the sense, evolution is a different uh, understanding than humanity has. Human evolution is different. You're becoming a type one, a creator that's going to be allowed to go out and create. Uh, the evolution in the universe is more the constant adding to more things, new planets, new star systems, new designs, uh, new places to see. You know, the, this is the final frontier, but it, it's a frontier that never ends. Uh, I'm fine. It's the end of the world as we know it, and I feel fine. Fucking infinity never ends. Uh, and so evolution post this exists in the sense that the universe is constantly being added to. New things are coming into view every day. New music, new movies, new star systems, new ships, new this, new that. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, so what's going on right now is the value of humanity, which is the people who shall uh, remain and be eternal uh, as angels, which is a god, basically, a creator, a master of god consciousness. God is not looking to create bootlickers to w follow him around and wipe his ass for him. I'm creating a... a creators who can go out into the universe and create on a universal spe uh, scale and spectrum uh, and bring forth good works uh, that don't need to be babysat. The age of having to babysit this creation is done. The people who can be self-starters and that can go out and enjoy, and you don't even have to. You can want to just sit on a beach all day and drink fucking martinis. Uh, that's fine. And the beauty of that, furthermore, is that uh, that to be uh, being given the ability completely to do that without shame or judgment or people messing with you, which has been the, you know, the uh, probably the uh, undoing of human society pre uh, the final evolutionary uh, step, which we're currently seeing the final phases of, which we are literally in the last minutes of that. Uh, you've had an acceleration of the people being removed. Uh, over the last six months, year, um, so it, it it just is what it is. Uh, but you you need to be careful with 
paying it, getting yourself trapped into labels and things like that. Go out and create, be. You're, you're a human being, being whatever you're doing at any given time, meaning being. You could be a, a thousand different things at any given part of a day. So people say the military just teaches people to be dumb enough to do their job, which is a fallacy. Uh, because if you go to the army, what is the army's motto? Be all that you can be. So it's teaching you not to limit yourself. Uh, most of the rigidity that God created in military training was nothing more than teaching people to attain the straight line uh, of well-being, to, to be able to quiet themselves down and find that space. Because uh, from operating from there, you, you are unstoppable. There's nothing that you can't do and there's nothing that could ever uh, hinder your, your progress and advancement. Uh, so you're seeing the undoing uh, essentially of of the Juliet syndrome right now which is causing human aging human uh, whatever every every nasty thing that humanity uh, endures uh, is being undone and it's you, them hijacking your creative stream making you think you're aging making you this that blah 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 that was caused by your own using your own God consciousness to do that to yourself uh, and it's not hard to understand how that happened. You saw the people who came first before you do that. You reference the biblical uh, material. You know, the people lived for a thousand years, and that's when uh, it got interesting, and real evolution began. That wasn't really first sin. It was uh, you know, really uh, a blessing, because that's when the game got interesting, in the sense of uh, you had a chance to become more than ever, uh, the people who make it through this, you're becoming something amazing, uh, and, and truly, uh, you know, uh, of, of great magnitude, uh, another misconception regarding space too, is you've been lied to, to keep you away from space, Bible, basic instruction before leaving earth, God couldn't have you up there, I've, you're the youngest thing, and there's billions of other life forms in this universe, including, on planets around us, right here, 80% of the life I created in the universe is humanoid, but it's much older than you. Uh, but most things look just like you. Um, created you an image like you have done that all throughout the universe. So you have to understand, you still were trying to kill each other. You couldn't agree to feed each other. So I couldn't allow you out there. You fight with other humans because their skin color is a little bit different pigmentation. Well, out there, there's humanoids with green skin, humanoids with blue skin. <laughs> Fucking, that has to do with how whatever kind of environmental uh, circumstances that that, 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 that habitat and uh, uh, planet presented the species. So you have to understand, all this test is about is making sure that people... Uh, who are going to try to kill everybody and, and act foolish. And it's the perfect sting of what religion was in the first place. Uh, the, the the setup, this is a sting. One-eyed Willie, uh, you know, bringing forth an opportunity for you to rise above the circumstances and become a beast, become a legend, become an angel, a master of God conscious that doesn't age, that doesn't die. That's that's exactly what I've given you the opportunity to do. And it's no different with making you overcome the thinking you have to babysit the earth. In a way, I'm creating you to be an ambassador to earth and a, and a steward of earth. But you have to understand the earth is so amazing. By The steward is tilling the land, planting fucking flowers, harvesting fruit uh, of your harvest. It's nothing more invasive than that. It's not a hard job. It's kicking back with a, with a, with a, with a frozen... Uh, cocktail uh and eating fresh fruit from your harvest that's that's the it's it's kick back lounge out <laughs> it's not have to solve all these instrumental problems you want to do that you go out build something amazing design something amazing travel through space uh there'll, there'll be plenty of other opportunity for for that type of stuff but the joke of, oh, there's reptilians out there and there's gray aliens, there's none of that shit. That's all just fucking fear mongering. If you really think that that's what I created in the universe, you got to be out of your fucking mind. You know, they're using these towers to give you astral delusions. Uh, they'll catch you in between sin and give you a bad dream. You think reptilians got you, or this or that. It's all fake. They're hoodwinking you. 
The greatest trick the devil ever played was to make you think the devil doesn't exist. And I'm going to explain that in the easiest way possible. Uh, because there's people who did horrendous things with this technology. And they will burn. The promise of the Bible is real. There's going to be people who trust in God with their whole heart and live forever. And there's going to be people who are egotistical cocksucker fucks that throw themselves on the floor like little spoiled rotten children at Walmart because they can't have a lolly. And the fact of that is, is that... Uh, you know, there's been nasty shit done. And some of these people judge themselves uh, as guilty before I, I even got here, and they're kicking and screaming like the little hellions that they are. And the greatest trick the devil ever did, God's called one. At my X1, you see on government documents, X equals one. One equals X. I have one name. X1. X is a name. One is a name. Allah, Buddha, Jesus, Yahweh, Jehovah. God is God of all the philosophies. Um, and it's also the devil and Satan because I'm who created uh, the network to spy on the people that are out killing and murdering. You know, it's in the first five minutes of Goodfellas and they say, yeah, they're like the police department. Yeah, the first five minutes of the movie. That's the line. They're like the police department because it's a sting. They're people just out gathering intelligence for God, doing the best they can in a world of human judgment where a bunch of assholes came to earth and judged God's creation. That's what went on. A bunch of assholes came to earth and judged God's creation. You read the first few pages of the Bible. It says God created the heaven and earth and everything in between and created the universe. And then God created man and women and allowed them to populate the earth. Then God created all the things to populate the earth, meaning the stuff, drugs, this, that, alcohol, boom, 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 boom. God created all the things to populate the earth and declared them perfect in every way. And for a thousand years, man, woman, and child lived in peace together with no problem. No one aged. It was paradise. The garden, because it's a garden of trees, flowers, botany. And after a thousand years, a couple spoiled, rotten people that didn't feel they were getting what they wanted on the time frame they wanted it. So I, I hate that. I don't like that. And so, life became weaponized. You created the circumstance with the image and likeness of God that I gave you for you to feel what I hate that feels like. Now you're addicted to that pain. And that only you feel and you try to force us all to feel we don't think it feels good, retard. We, there's no value there. Judging perfection because you feel good about it. That's your problem. You'll go extinct. That's a fallacy. Uh, there's no value there. Oh, I'm the negative energy. Okay, commoner. You failed your God test. That's why it's called neutral or common energy, fool. You all failed. There is zero. You did not rise to God consciousness. God set up the perfect storm for you, the vacuum of space. Put out some conspiracy theories about pollution and this and that to give you all the chance to make yourself look like badasses. How is this polluting? This is going up into the air and there's a ton of air. This dilutes parts per million instantly. The vacuum of space is not really a vacuum up, up there. It's a vacuum that it sucks the air out into infinity. Infinite expanse. I gave you the formula. Put it in front of your face. Gave you the fucking formula. Gave you the perfect opportunity to rise up and be And people are. There's people that are rising up and becoming champions and master creators and that are going to be here for eternity with God, traveling the universe, creating badass shit and continuing to enjoy God's creation and the collective creation that we share together. Because as soon as I created all of you, all of you started creating with me uh, in a massive co-creation. And not one thing here other than dancing this place into being. Uh, even there, you've created species of tree, flower, botany with me. Uh, so it is what it is. You know, this isn't about some separation or... Uh, greater than it's a simple rising up and pulling the people who are good at it and that enjoy doing it and even if they don't if they want to sit around and play video games all day letting you know your heart creates 200 grand a day and it's stored in trust accounts this symbol means social security card and god we trust i've got the proof on instagram i don't care if you believe me if not it's more money for me who do you think gets the accounts as the signature if you don't accept your account
When you deny yourself, you're just putting money in my pocket, fool. Fact. You think I'm complaining about not having to give you your account? I mean, let's be logically realistic here. Doesn't even make sense. Um, so...